I'm already in the Discord. I'm the first one in the Discord. What losers? Wait, what, what volume am I at? Oh my god, it's way low, don't it? What's up, bro? How's it going? Oh, you know. I sure am. How you doing? What the hell? What? Oh, I have I have your Twitch open in another thing. I was I was wondering why I was hearing you twice. There we go. What is this? 480p? Oh, gross. I can't I can't hey. be that up close and personal. Yeah, get that down to one one eighty sixty eight one sixty nine. <laughs> I was watching a stream last night, and that girl kept getting sixty nine bit donations. You know the memes. Yeah. And she also had like a special thing that would play whenever she got a sixty nine bit donation. Nice. So she just kind of feeds right into it. Yeah, yeah. It was funny. Psionics. Yeah, I'm not Psionics, K Fox. But uh, hello. These videos in the playlist are they in order? How you doing? Yes. How you doing, K Fox? How's life? Oh, I remember this one. Take my chance. Pretty sure you shared this one already. Yeah, a long time ago. Oops. I have to get people before I search. Foxington! Good evening. How's your Friday, K Fox? It's Friday. You know what that means. Yeah, you like my jamming? I've been jamming. I need caffeine. It was a boring day at work. There just wasn't a lot of people in work. But like, I couldn't talk to people. You said number six would be interesting to me. If you watched it, not listen to it. Uh, well, so I need to have chat up. I don't yeah. have enough monitors. I'll have to watch it, it later. Yeah, it's not. I mean, uh, I watched. Obsidian Ant's video about the new update. And yeah. he, he he seemed to be of the opinion currently that uh, SRVs do not have uh, night vision. Really? Which is a real bummer. That that seems like a major oversight. I am HO. I. That would that would be kind of dumb. It would be it would be very kind of dumb. I am HO. Oh, he's scoring it? Oh, sick. Sick! Got our first calculated. Shit, now the game is louder than the music. Oh, ah. I need I need to go back to borderless for Rocket League. It's it's just it's too obnoxious having it in in bordered mode. Yeah. Borderless is the best. Well, I, I had it in borderless, but I had those those issues. I had frame hiccups. Right. Hopefully, they fixed it or something. Cause I I can't take it anymore. What is that? What is happening? How was your day, Foxington? Kind of bomb there for a second. Oh, teammate. Have you done anything at all, teammate? 
he spawned into the game and he hit the ball towards our net there for a sec. It was great. Oh, congrats. Uh, apparently, Colorado has sold like a billion dollars of weed and pulled nice. in like 200 million in like tax revenue, I think it was. Saw a post about that on, on the Reddits. And they were like, Have you know, a lot of it's probably the fact that you got people coming from other states yep. to get their weed there, you know, not to... Don't don't think that like every state that legalizes is is gonna make a billion dollars in revenue, but still, it shows you how popular it is and how how kind of dumb it was that it's been illegal this whole time. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty dumb. The thing is, like, weed wasn't hard to get in the first place. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was. At least, you know, for me, I knew plenty of people that I could have gotten weed from. But now you can get it from people that run like a, a business and have a reputation yeah. that they care about. Yeah, that's why I'm saying like it's dumb. It was available yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. No one... it's just, uh, it's like not only was it still fairly easy to get your hands on, but now it's going to be so much better. Oh, yeah, yeah. That you, the stuff that you get your hands on is going to be better. You're going to have more choice. You're going to have more sense of security. Splatfest today had a real solid run up to 2400 power. That sounds impressive. I don't know the first thing about Splatoon, but congratulations. But a decent shot of the lower top 100. That That's sounds pretty good. ridiculous. So, I'm proud. Congrats, man. I have you... a shot at being top 100 in Rocket League in uh, in own goals. I I wasn't even looking at the screen. Um... Like every single Splatfest, it restarts. Is that how that works? I was it like a like a one-time kind of event. I think it's a once a week for things. Um, yeah, and like ever since weed was legalized, it's been just in general a lot better. Mm -hmm. People aren't getting in trouble for stupid things of just. It was made legal in Canada too, apparently, just recently. You need to go for that. I was wiping shit off my fingers. I spilled stuff. Uh. I spilled shit on my oh, fingers. Shit on your fingers. Yeah. You spilled it. That's that sounds to me like you were pouring shit from one container to another, and some spilled. Yeah, yeah. From 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 the anus to 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 move. Ah, the anus to move. Damn it! I can't hear your. No! Like all the YouTube videos have like a different audio level. Yeah. Oh good, I spilled liquid on my keyboard and now my the lights on my keyboard. How are much a noose to move are you are you pouring? It's on your keyboard now too? Yep. I hit it! Once a month once a month once a mile. New top hundred each time. That's kinda neat. It'd be kind of cool for like uh, Rocket League to do something like that. I guess not that it would matter. We wouldn't be in the top 100. We have Still seasons though. Cool. Yeah. They're, they're once every like three months, four months. So. Very similar thing. It is similar. And I like that we can unlock rewards. Like we don't. It's not necessarily a competition with other people, as much as it is getting your. Speaking of which, we should do some some rank stuff and get. I mean, I guess we're doing rank and humble and whatnot. We're already at platinum rewards, son. Are we? Or at least I am. I am. Yeah, I guess I am. Oh. But uh, we haven't played any regular ranked. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a miss. It projects me at uh, champion for rank. Ah. <laughs> 
Emergency jump. You got seasons too. Those are monthly? Damn. That's... You rise to the ranks for the whole month. Splatfests are limited time events. But those are also a month. They don't... Yeah, but the, the Splatfest, though, what happens is, like, it's... It's only, like, a week or a couple days or something like that, rather than the whole month. And they, they have, like... Aw, oh, shit. They have, um... They're, like, themed? Or whatever? Which ones are themed? Flatfest. That's cool. 24 Once to 48 month, hours, yeah. To... Oh, I see. So they, they go by quicker. They, uh... And, like, this one's Trick or Treat, I think. So you pick... Oh, I got a new crate! You pick either Team Trick or Team tr Treat. And then... You, uh... Rise the ranks. Are, who's better? Go Mr. Gorn or, or you there, k -Pock? I've seen some... I've seen some video of you and Gorn playing. I assume both of you. Now I'm no expert, but I was I was watching Gorn play and I thought that T sure is pressing buttons. He sure has a skill level of some sort. That was my expert analysis. Oh you fuck and it's rank B, I'm rank X, uh oh. Alright. I assume it goes A then X. A then X? Yeah. Oh, as in the X is higher? Yeah. Because I know X is the highest, but uh I realized I wasn't gonna hit that. Um <laughs> But some places it's, do S's. It's def definitely higher because of the weed. Oh, oh yeah, the, the Colorado and uh, in Canada now too. Oh, S S plus then X. Jesus. Holy shit. Ah, that was a terrible pass. Oh. Oh, Dutini in the right spot. That was a beautiful pass. Very oh, happy he that. Get that shit out of my house. Get it from the news to the mouth. Ooh, Dratini, he's good. Oh. Oh, you missed, you dick. They're gonna anti have it. Coming back. Oh, what oh. a shot. That was still, that was a shot. I like this boost. This cool boost. Oh no. Top. Five. Oh, Shit. you! God damn. Oh, that's pretty good. Is there's there's probably more people playing Splatoon than Rocket League. Ah, uh, no. You don't think so? No, because Ro uh, Rocket League's multi-platform. That's a good point. Because we are. Uh... We're like top 1% in some categories. Yeah, I'm, I'm top 0. 0.6 in Rumble. Top uh, 0. 0.2 in saves. That's that's about the top 3,000. Or 0. 0.2. That's cool that Splatoon can be played at, at such a competitive level like that. I really... I, it's not that I thought down... A Splatoon. I just didn't think of it as a game that could be uh, played that that competitively. I thought it was more of like a, like a fun kind of multiplayer thing with your friends. Oh damn! 
a bit high and fast and I have low boost. Oh. Nintendo started charging? Yeah, for their online service. Oh, right. Yeah, that sucks. It sucks to pay money to play online. No! Oh! Oh my god! You and I combined to make some serious magic right there. I bump something. That's me. You big boy! X used to be top 1%. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it weeded out the other players and. Uh, they needed to have a certain number rather than percentage. Ah, I to pop that. Mr. Gorn! Mr. B rank himself. How you doing, man? What what is that emo? Pikachu butt. I was I was gonna ask if it was Pikachu's butt, but I didn't want to sound crude. I, I really hope I really hope it's a reference to that picture of uh, Isabel slapping Pikachu's oh, ass. Oh, we did Ooh. it! Oh, seven seconds. Hi, Iron Gorn. How goes the the splat fest? My axe. Freaking uh, K Fox has just been in here bragging the whole time about how good he is at stuff. Haven't got this on splats, just got home. You need to unleash your fury. Wow. I I was I almost did half of the bar in that one match. I I definitely love the I love the uh, the XP boosts. He's very good, to be fair. You know, I, I don't think that is fair. Yeah, you should feel proud. I bet you put a fuck ton of work in to get to where you are. I know we, we have. Rock yeah. League. Thousand, 2,000 hours? I'm past? I'm probably at 1,800 by now. I know I was at like 17. You don't know what power you are. I bet you're not over nine thousand. <laughs> ah! Remember that one? Oh. Five thousand in smash. That's that's, that's nuts, but. Oh my god. I get are you, it. Are you good? Like, because cause I have a shit ton of hours in Smash, and let me tell you, I'm not very good. I have no Compared idea. Compared to, like, a pro. I wonder how many hours I've played collectively just fucking around with friends. Through all the Smash games. Yeah. If you, if you combine everything going all the way back to N64. I think Smash has got to be the game I've played the most in my life. I think uh, Rocket League's probably probably right there now. It's, it's probably beating it now, but I've spent so much time with friends playing Smash. Ah, fuck. So fast. Yeah, I'd Smash, I, pro I have a lot. I don't... Either Smash, there's Pokemon, there's Minecraft. A lot of them I have a lot of combined hours in. Minecraft, like, never tracked hours. So. Nice. Well, yeah. And you gotta challenge me, too. I'm gonna have Smash. I'm gonna Ooh. be playing on Strem. I have 1,816 hours of Rocket League. Dear God. I do not want that broken down into days. What a few tournaments, Jesus! That's fucking awesome. Oh no! I, I'm looking at you. I don't even. I don't even know what a wave dash. I can't even do the wave dash. Yeah. 
I never got like a good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little shit tourneys, but still, like I couldn't. I probably that's, couldn't win a shit. That's tourney. still. That's still. That's impressive. If you take an average population of some, unless like the town I used to live in of eight thousand people, <laughs> I might win a smash tourney there. Might. Just because no one will hear about it, and I'd be the only one who showed up. I won a few tournaments of Magic the Gathering, and let me tell you, I rode that high for weeks. Every time. Felt like a goddamn king. Yeah, I mean, I... I feel good just oh. getting champ in Rocket League. And then now I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I got champ this season. <laughs> No! God damn it! 1800 hours! Oh, uh. Yu Gi Oh, huh? It's such, I never such played a... Yu Gi Oh. I used to be real bad. Yeah, yeah, I, I. I tried to wave dash, and I know how to do it, but I'm bad at it. But, uh. Yu Gi Oh is of the devil. Real quick. Real quick, K Fox and Aaron Gorn. We had, a, we had a pro, a Rocket League pro, lurking in my channel yesterday. And by pro, you mean top five in North top America? Top five in, in North America, according to Justin. And apparently he nope. said that he would be scared to play against us because we're so good. Well, he lurked, so he didn't say anything, but... <laughs> apparently that's what he was thinking. That was with that, uh... How did you impress him? I, I mean, probably not. I was we, playing Let's just Snow say Day. we left him speechless. Yeah, he was speechless. Oh no, I had that. I didn't point him out because I I didn't know who he was. <laughs> and but but I saw it because his username I saw it in in the username list and I laughed cuz his name has Justin in it. And uh I obviously play with Justin, and I was like, that's not Justin, in my head. And then I was trying to find the person. There named Justin in the world? Yeah. Oh, see, really wish he would have been back there, teammate. Was, I was a little forward trying to... Um, but, uh, so I went to go thank that, uh, the person who hosted me. And then I was like, oh, I saw that username in my chat. And I clicked on it. I was like, oh. <laughs> he's, he's a he's pro man. So that was cool. So he's probably, probably really impressed. He's also like 15 years old, so he probably doesn't know much about anything yet. Except so easy, easy to impress him, you know? Dangle some keys in front of him, you know. <laughs> Dangle some, some weeds in front of him. Oh, yeah, some weeds, too. Uh, anyway, what's up, Angel? I love you. Hi. Yeah, hi, Angel. 400 uh, hours in Overwatch. Who do you like to play as? I like to play as Junkrat because I, I hate using keyboard and mouse to move around, so I can't aim for shit. In Junkrat, you don't have to aim for shit. I like playing his junk right and he's just fun to play with. And then uh, Lucio is support. Oh. He thinks my the one goal would have been marked as an error. Whatever. Cool. That was close. Oh, you've never seen it say boom? Yeah, it's pretty good. In the Batman car, if you blow up somebody in the Batman car, they have the bat symbol. I love I love healing people. Playing I played as Mercy a lot as well. I like healing people in in the monster hunters. Feels good to, to help your team not die. Oh, hmm. teammate. There. Oh, nice. Yeah, I meant like you, you need to be be ready for it. Just 
This is overtime. Oh, there's a guy, I didn't even see him. That's game. Yeah, it's really nice in uh, in Monster Hunter because their life bars are right there. And I don't have to like focus on you. I can just drink the potion and start healing. You can you can see your results. Yeah. I can I can quantify how much my life oh, has meaning. Mean. All of this this animation is adorable. I wonder if this is number six. Well. Wow. Oh shit! It is number six. Oh shit! At least in this thing, this is like a girl with, the, with your 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 avatar. She's dancing. Yep, that's where I got my avatar from. All of them. Now you know. At least all my Steam ones. Uh, where the fuck's the music, though? Oh, I'm not really. Wait, you guys talking about the, me the this meta here? Let me tell you about the meta in Rocket League. If you got him, you know, you want to pick your car, you just look at one. You say that's a nice car. I don't even know who Wire is because I stopped playing before uh, the new characters got added. He's the Kamehameha Witch, Nerd Witch. He does Kamehamehas? Sounds cool. She's got like. Some healing and some some hurdy. It's uh, the game's the game's not very fun if you don't have friends to play with and like, like talking about shit. Like, cause people people online are not the nicest. Oh, right to them. I, oh, I would play in casual and I would still get very not nice messages. Community is awful. Yeah. I'm getting to a point where I realize that most big communities are awful. <laughs> Once they reach a certain mass, they become poop. Hey, part of it is that I am bad. Like I said, I, I, I'm trying to use controller against people who use mouse and keyboard. They're just going to be faster and more precise than I am. And like, I don't play, I don't play online multiplayer shooters, so I'm kind of new to that as well. It's just a Real oh, big, I was trying to scoop it. perfect storm of me not being good at something, but man, I was having a blast. It's like, God, if I had a couple friends that enjoyed this, oh God, I suck at this game too. What's happening? Oh, I could see the Pokemon TCG community being amazing. They're also not old. A lot of them might not be old enough yet to have fully corrupted. Oh, we got yeah, a good bet, hit off. I that. bet if you could select something to play with only people like 22 years or older, I bet it would be uh, far less toxic. <laughs> Nash is hit or miss. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, my <laughs> God. You should see me flopping around, dude. It's so good. Look at this. Watch me. I, I hit the ceiling, which you can't see, but then I hit the backboard. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really looked like one of us was going to hit that. But no. Uh, yep. Yeah, I can imagine the Arkansas Smash community is uh, smaller, too, compared to the Texas one. I think once communities start getting real oh. big. Obviously, I didn't mean every single community ever is terrible, but yeah, like once, once it we reaches not, when a When an online size, community gets big enough, it's, you're going to have problems. 
Especially if there's a competitive aspect to it. Like yeah. I think I think communities can be really wholesome and, and generous when they are communities built around something that is wholesome and generous and yeah, cooperative. Like uh, uh, I love um, I love co-op board games where you're competing against Fuck. you're competing against the system itself and and people are super nice with board games at least the ones I've encountered. Because the, what's the reason to be a dick? You're working. You're working together. Oh. Also, uh, also, like you're in real life usually for board games, and that's yeah. Being like, face to face, you have like they're gonna be nicer. Yeah, Smash though, I mean, they're kind of nice. They're just they talk shit. I wonder what the community's like with, with Monster Hunter. The only thing I've seen uh, toxicity-wise is uh, those messages you can leave when when your teammate dies. People talk yeah. about that, getting real shitty. Even even mine, you know, say hi to the handler for me. That could sound like real shitty if you don't if you don't know me. Yeah. <coughs> Ash is very young. Yeah, flinching other people with your weapons. Even even Ad Knight was not none too pleased with that. <laughs> yeah. I love flinching people. This, this team is having a my bad off. Hey, there. That's the nice thing too about Rocket League, like once you get Higher and higher, there's less toxicity. Yeah, the toxicity used to be a lot worse. Although I will Dude. say, I feel like instead of being toxic, people will just leave your team. Oh, yeah. They just straight leave. Because I've played a couple times without you, even recently, and it made me want to just, like, uninstall the game. It was awful. I, I can't stand oh. playing solo. Because I get so much shit. I swear to God, I'll, I'll have one... One game where I absolutely carry my teammates, I have like twice as many points as them, and I get MVP and we win. Very next game, I get matched with people that are gods, and then they're like bitching about me. I'm like, yeah, you're better than me. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I made mistakes. I'm not as good at this fucking video game. I've sunk 1,800 hours of my life into it, but yeah, still, you have managed to become better at it than I am. I, I, I apologize. I don't, I don't know what else I can do for you. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me let me try thanks to be for, better real quick. Thanks for thanks for shitting on me and ruining my oh. my two hours of fun that I get every night. Thanks for thanks for ruining that. It, dude, there was a time where I I was in like in, when I sometimes pop into like Martin's games or whatever, and you know they're super super low rank, and uh, the people are I've I've had times where like people were toxic Shit. to each other, and. It's hilarious because you know I just want to be like you. <laughs> you're all terrible. Yeah, <laughs> you're all like none of silver. You even know what the hell you're doing yet? <laughs> you're stupid. Like, and why are you guys so toxic to each other? You're all learning anyway. You're all silver. You're all shit. Yeah. People. T oh, you know what is a wholesome community? Pokemon Go. People talk about oh, how yeah. fucking great that was that first couple of months when everyone was going outside and it was so brand new and exciting and everything. I, hell, I went outside with uh, with my brother and sister. They they had a blast going out there flinging Pokeballs. That one's a lot more cooperative, too. Like, the only competition is like, oh, we took that gym. Neat. Mm -hmm. Oh, that person took the gym now. Like, there, there's, like there's, like, fake trash talk amongst all the, the three different... Uh, the yellow, blue, and the red teams. Right. That's not. That's not serious. Well, tribalism, like yeah. fake tribalism. Yeah, like like in sports, like you can have fun with that kind of trash talk, tribalism stuff. Oh no. <laughs> I'm back to sucking again. I was just pointing in the absolute wrong direction. For your local. 
a crazy chicken. If that had gone in, teammate would have left. I can feel it in my bones. I gotta go. My friend wants to wants to team for the fest. All right, All right there, K Fox. You enjoy your fe your fest off. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Mr. Foxington. We enjoyed you your good company. Day. I will probably see you later. No! You stupid butts. Hey, watch your language. Sorry, I should have asterisked that out. Like I did on YouTube. Ass? It, asterisk. Come on. Woo! Damn it. I've been hearing good things about the new Assassin's Creed. Speaking of ass. Ass. Assassin's Creed. That Odyssey one. I, I thought it looked like trash. I was like, man, these boats have like less weapons than Black Flag Good. boats. This is like way less interesting boat stuff. I like boat stuff, especially when she's into boat stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, baby, look at this Chris Craft right here. That's the, that's the only boat manufacturer I can think of. And shove this this uh, Corvette into port. Anchors away. That always gets them wet. When you when you're away. Yeah. Seamen. On the on the on the sea. On the sea. C, C word. S E A C word. That's an arrested development joke right there. He's like, what do you. That's the name of the boat. Is C word. S E A W A R D. C word. And he goes, what are we going to do about that, about that C word? And she goes, I'm right here. I can hear you. funnier in the show, I promise. I think the thing with Assassin's Creed is I don't want the new Assassin's Creed because I'm kind of tired of, like, kind of like yeah, I feel like I'm a, European I'm a little... stuff. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm kind of burnt out on trying to, trying to sneak my way past guards and then just going into, like, Assassin's Creed combat and we get there. And apparently the combat's, like, better and I don't know. That's good. I, I, I watched someone play and none of it excited me, but I keep hearing a lot of good things. I think I'm just burnt out on Assassin's Creed at this point. I think I'm pretty burnt out. If they went to Asia, like if they yeah, went to that'd be, that'd be neat. I would do it. But I'm tired I'm tired of Honestly I think I'm burnt out on killing dudes. I just henchmen in general. I've I've kinda lost the appeal. Oh, I see. Angel gets it. That's a master comedian right there. A master comedian is one who gets a joke. Absolutely. How can you how can you tell jokes if you don't get them? You have to get them first to give them. I just want to acquire joke. <laughs> looking at looking at this match, we're the we're the joke. We we are a joke. I'm so bad. I scored. Does that make me not joke? Nah, you're still a joke. I've 1800 goddamn hours and I still don't have that awesome solar system banner that you have. In a, in a crate. Oh, it is? Well, that makes more sense. I, think oh, I, got, one, I got one of the new crates I want to open. I think it's in the new crate, actually. Oh, some Hatsune Miku. Let's 
so uh, Elijah had this school project where he was supposed to write like the teacher said one, two, three pages. So of course he writes one page and and like an ex one extra line just to be like barely over the minimum. But like, yeah, <laughs> I remember those days. He wrote a hundred and twenty-three pages. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. And uh, they told him uh, double space. And uh, I, I had assumed that he knew, you know, all about double space. But apparently he's like, I've never done a paper in double space before. I'm like, well, it's oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like it's a it's a good thing. Like you're you're really only writing like half a page. This is yeah. this is good. So he he wrote it and then sent it to me, and I I, I noticed some some problems with it. I sent him back to fix it, and uh, he fixed them and everything. And then uh, it was a thing where I had to submit it online. So I, I went to submit it. I was I was about to submit it, and I noticed one more error, and I was like, ah, I'm not gonna make him do it. I'll just I'll just edit it real quick and then submit it myself. Oh shit! I got cool new wheels. Raijin, Raijin wheels. Holy fuck! Check them out. Oh, those are cool. That's from the new crate. Anyways, uh, I, right, I Raijin, that that means something about lightning. I uh, I made the edit and noticed that uh, by adding like a word or two, like it dropped the line down only single space. I was like, what oh. the hell? And then I went through the paper and realized that. He was just hitting enter twice, twice. to make the, the double space. I was oh like, my oh god. my god. But he was uh he was already in bed, so I just I had I just went in and like fucking fixed it manually. Jesus. Like I I did I not teach him that? Because like there's so much about computers and shit that uh I don't you know, I don't realize I have to explain it to him and he just he never he never came and asked me how to do it. You know, I was like, why didn't you just ask? Also, that does he know what to Google yet? That was pretty funny. Oh my god, they, I, the, the amount of times I've said, why didn't you just Google it? And then, and then they look at me and like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's literally the first thing I, half the time I don't even try to figure shit out. Yeah. Especially if it's like not worth my time. Oh, I suck, I should have recorded a little bit. It's probably one of those things where he didn't realize it was an automated process. He probably thought that was just the way people did it. So of course I, I showed it to him, but I was I was just shaking my head, sitting there going in and like deleting <laughs> extra lines. I was like, come on. That's funny. God damn it. I'm trying to teach him you know, all the all the little things that you just know about computers you forget that they haven't learned yet and how it's it's just something you gotta you gotta sit them down and teach them. yeah like no you were not the 100th person to visit that website don't don't download shit unless you you come talk to me because olivia Fuck. loves to do uh she loves to have mod Minecraft all the time, and uh, could be a little dangerous. Yeah, there's, there's, some, there's some sketchy websites, but, you know, because it'll just be like a YouTuber. We'll we'll have it in their like description link. Like, that's that might be okay. I, let, me, let me take a look at that first. Oh, fuck! I thought that guy was gonna go for it again. There was, I saw some funny Simpsons memes today associated with LimeWire. Oh, uh, what a play! That's exactly how I wanted that. There was a, uh, there's a picture of like this really shifty, uh, yeah, shit. this really shifty tent. And I said, I don't know, this seems, this seems kind of bad in here. And the label on the tent said, uh, Simpsons movie. Uh, two point three five megabytes, <laughs> nice. and uh, and then Homer's face had lime wire on it, and he said, "No, it doesn't." <laughs> uh, Ooh. Oh my god! Pool my shot. God. I got the pool shot.
Oh, it's Germs, the uh, the demo guy. Yeah. Sometimes he, he might qu quit, go down by two. He's a quitter. Oh. Oh, two isn't very good. At least he's a little. I told them cool. that uh, when they, whenever they see that screen where it's like, "Are you sure you want to allow this app to make changes?" I'm like, "Just if you see that, come what? get me. Just, just come and get me." Fuck. Yeah, I turned but that off then, on uh, my computer, but I know. I, what I I'm did doing, too, so. but there's no way in hell I'm turning that off on their computers. I, I want Actually, them to be scared of that screen. Actually, no, I turned it off for a while. I turned it back on, though, because there was some website that I was on at one point that was trying to auto-download files. And so a file would just come up on the bottom, like, uh, excuse me, I didn't download that. I think I, I turned off the uh, the thing where it, like, darkens the rest of the screen, I guess. I still get, like, mm -hmm. confirmation. Oh, yeah, yeah, user access control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UAC. yeah. I told him just like whenever you see that, come and get me. And and it, it's gotten to where uh, he, he might Elijah might even be too cautious. He was like, uh, it said, uh, do you do you want to like update Java? And he's like, I didn't let it. I was like, okay, okay that's oh. fair enough. <laughs> so to be fair, if it was like another website or something that yeah, said, that's oh, your Java's like, out of date. Yeah, so I was like. Uh, uh -oh. I saw a server icon there for a second. It was in the red. Yeah, me too. Still there? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, I told him, uh, you know, like if, if Windows tells you your job is out of date, that's fine. You know, still, I'm glad he was cautious instead of. Uh, I'm, I'm glad he listened to me. You, you just, you never know. There, yeah. there are times you'll talk to them for like 20 minutes, and and they're and they're like shaking their head, and they seem like they're attentive. And then you, and then they do the exact thing you told them not to, and it's like, don't you remember me telling you not to do that? And they just stare at you like, the what? Yeah, so uh, that. So you just, you never know when it actually gets through to them. The same thing happens with my roommate. Yeah. I'll, I'll spell it out, and then I'll ask him. A very, very similar question that, like, I, I couldn't hear you behind me, so I thought I had to go for it before they got it. Um, didn't hear your boost. But I'll, I'll, I'll say something that's very similar, very simple, and then I ask him the question of, is this? Is it? No, no. What's, the, what's did, you, did you get that? Repeat it back to me. Tell, get, like summarize what I just told you is is one of the things I try to do now. My mine is like I tell him I say so. What do you think you do in this situation? And he says I don't know. And I'm like, what did I literally just tell you? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's it's kind of frustrating. Oh, nice one, Jeremy. And then he'll just stare at me and go, Oh, okay. What? But, but all the time when I'm describing this stuff, he gives me this like blank stare. Mm. Like he's just gone. It can be, it can be frustrating. Cause I was thinking about being a teacher, actually. Oh uh, God. Now that I've got some experience with it, I, I wouldn't want to teach anyone like middle school or lower. That's for damn sure. It's, yeah. it's so frustrating when you, when you, you, you've explained it a hundred different ways and they still just can't grasp it. It's like, I don't, I don't know how to make this any simpler or like break it down any better. It's just frustrating. There's also, there's also the fact that like their, their brain, oh, cut that team again. I beat, we, we, we've beaten this team so much. And we've got germs. Yeah. We've got germs. Um, Ew. But, but like also with kids. It's, it's not even necessarily like they don't get it. It's the fact that their brain's just somewhere else. Yeah. Because they can't... Because oh, they can't... 
they don't know how to focus properly yet. Mm -hmm. Elijah was actually diagnosed with ADD. We were giving him medication for a while. But uh, thankfully, he's not really on it anymore. He's doing okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't happy about it, but fucking hell, he needed it. Holy shit, he needed it. Yeah. Oh! This dude that might work, but... Oh, almost got it. <laughs> that was a dumb shot. I was like, it sure was. Like, like, I, did, I, did, I still didn't trust it. I was, I was <laughs> I'm gonna force that shit in, whether you liked it or not. Um, there's a guy at my work that he has been diagnosed before with that, and uh, like, there's times where I just I I could tell that he just. That's got to be frustrating when people are constantly giving you shit for not focusing, and you're like, I I want to focus, it's just not happening. I don't. Even... I don't think anyone at my work gives him shit, except for my boss. Or, or him. He, oh man. Just a dick about everything. So, you know. Or Mr. Germs. Oh. You have trouble focusing on things that I'm not super interested or invested in. I think everybody's yeah. got that to some extent. I don't know. I mean, maybe uh, just a attention spans in general. Oh no. Are probably oh, att attention spans in general are probably getting shorter because of technology and shit. What a save! Want a gentleman's agreement? I, I'm and, bored of it. I, for one, don't think that that's necessarily that bad of a thing. Like, obviously, yeah. attention spans going down it is a problem. And that's that was so fast. Holy shit! I don't, I don't think it's that bad of a thing. But what sucks is like there's sometimes where you aren't interested in a certain like aspect of something, but you're interested in the whole, right? And so you're like, I really want to learn this but your mind's still drifting and you're like oh fuck yeah like i i have to learn this and i don't want my mind to drift that happens at work sometimes you know? like i want to focus on this but it's so dumb there's books that i know that like they, they start off really interesting and i'm i'm, in, I'm enjoying it and then like the middle section will start to kind of dull down i'm like god i just i just need to muscle through this because i know it's going to get good by the end and it's just it's it's really troublesome no because then i can i can like uh i'll go months <clears throat> without having enough motivation to actually read and i and i hate it it's like a part of me is, is just dead just drift so easily into daydreaming yeah that's why i can't that's why i can't read like books if i read books i read one sentence and my brain's gone like it's thinking about stuff related to that sentence within my daily life or a show or some other shit and and i'm but i'm still reading and so then you know i went through a page and I don't know what uh, was on that page, and so I have to reread it. So then the next sentence I get to reminds me of something else. Rinse, repeat. Oh. I <clears throat> I have daydreamed so much in my life. I, I, I was really bad when I was in high school to the point where um, I used to do it before going to sleep at night. I used to daydream about like fantasy worlds and anime worlds and shit like that and like characters in them. It got to where I couldn't go to sleep unless I was daydreaming. 
that's but yeah that's, that's, kinda... that's why i like reading is because i'm daydreaming about the author's fantasy world that's fucking amazing when you're in the zone like that there's nothing better no no video game no movie tv show nothing will top a book where i'm totally 100 percent absorbed it's fucking incredible it feel it feels like being transported somewhere else and and it's a high that i've been chasing since i was a kid that shit mine just drifts into so many other unrelated things uh but yeah, like in terms of daydreaming, like I, I do daydream to go to sleep. I have this like whole fantasy world in my head made up. Oh yeah. And stupid internal lore and shit. Oh yeah. I I used to I used to call it sequencing because I there was only one person I ever told this to about how much daydreaming I used to do. I had to I had to come up with a word for it because I did it so much. And like daydreaming doesn't feel like a like it really captures the whole thing. You think it actually interferes with your sleep? You get too into your fantasy world. I still do it sometimes. If I'm having trouble going to sleep, I'll I'll just pick one up and uh, and start playing it out in my head. I think it's uh, PRB time. Okay. I'm back. Hello. I have super in-depth fantasy lore. Like, like it's often too in-depth. Like when would a story use this much info? I've okay. I've started writing like three or four books. Uh, one I got pretty in-depth and was actually like sharing with a friend. I was sharing some of the chapters and he really liked it, but at some point I hated it and fucking probably deleted it. But I've, I've definitely tried to put some of them down into actual words. Back in like second grade I, I wrote a story. I wrote stories. Oh yeah. I used to do that all the time too. They were really dumb. <laughs> they were just, yeah. They were just ramble ramble no clear plot just going places. We we had a we had a free period in like uh, starting in like eighth or ninth grade. My buddy and I would like sit next to each other. We'd each write like a couple paragraphs and then hand it off to the other guy, and they would he would like keep it going, like build a collective story. That was pretty cool. I've done that in one of my I did that in 
one of my language classes. Um, yeah, I, I wish I recorded all the info that I came up with, though I do still have all of it in my head. The problem is, mostly what I like in my head is, like, the visuals that my that my mind came up with, with like, yeah, what this thing looks like, what that thing looks like, and I really wish I could draw it. Oh man, you're telling me. Just, just the one, the one, the one cool thing I want. There's just one thing I mainly want drawn, and it just, it's never gonna happen. I'm so shit. The, uh, you, you know how people will take leaves and put them in between pages and dry them overnight? Yeah. And, the, and they have like a collection of leaves inside the book. I had, uh, I had a story I was writing about this like magical forest where you would pick up certain, certain leaves from the forest would have magical properties and you'd have to put it inside your spell book and like let it dry and that would, that would like charge it with magical energy. I had uh, an idea. I'd written quite quite a bit of that one, and then like came back to it a couple years later and, and just cringed at everything I wrote and was <laughs> was so fucking disgusted with it. I probably deleted it. I hope I didn't. I'd like to read it again now because I, could, I could. It would still be cringy, but I could I could see it with a new perspective now. Like, all right, I was younger at the time. I was trying. I, I hadn't I hadn't read very. I hadn't read as much back then, so I didn't I didn't know as much. Go ahead. It could just make for a good mechanic in a video game. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, my my main thing is like I'm DBZ, basically my yeah. I've I've world. definitely done. I've got I've got multiple fantasy worlds, sure, and that's that was one of them. And like the my brain, the form that I came up with in my brain, I like would love to have it drawn. It's not like it's not a carbon copy of DVD, right? It's not like mm -hmm. you got hair and you got shit. It's like you know, it's just super fighting. Yeah, I, I just had my own characters basically. Yeah. Oh, D and D. Oh, nice. Mine's actually like just like multi-dimensional. So if I like some show or whatever, I think of how would how would me or my character interact with this fantasy world. I like to say that oh they can travel dimensions. I usually come up with my own with. characters. I usually take something established like Naruto and then put my own characters in it and, and come up with my own powers and shit. I, I have my own powers, but like it's mainly like how would my character? In? I do have my own characters per se, but they're all like shit, not developed. Kind of like I came <laughs> here once. I came to this planet once, and this was what the people were like. And then you never interact with them ever again, my friend. Because because by the time I'm creating these shit characters, I'm falling asleep. So I come yeah. up with characters quick, and then I leave. But then some days I go into a little bit more thought about what my character's going to look like and try to remember it. I, uh, I don't really do it as much anymore just because uh, I used to do it when I had a few moments to kill. It was like, well, right, let me fire up the imagination and, and, you know, let me tune to whatever fantasy channel a show I, I want now but nowadays when I've got if I've got five minutes to kill if I'm waiting for like something to heat up in the microwave I'm on reddit so the yeah. only time I actually spend time in those worlds now is when I'm falling asleep and there, there are definitely times where I, I look at the clock and realize it's been an hour and I've done nothing but further the storyline in my head and I'm like god damn it I need to go to sleep yeah let's you have several Naruto characters. Nice. I, uh... I, I do it sometimes when I'm in the shower if I have, like, nothing to reflect yeah, on yeah, for the day. Yeah, yeah, I don't take my phone in the shower, so that's a good one. Yeah. I, I usually chide myself if it's been over an hour. I, I usually force myself to go to sleep at that point. It's like, I'm not doing anything productive. Stop. Because it's become my sleep crutch so much, like, it... I can't help but fall asleep as I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. It sucks. Yeah, like I said, it got it got to one point when I was in high school that I literally couldn't uh, go to sleep without it. 
But that's also like why I put on YouTube now when I sleep is like I don't all nights I don't necessarily have something to imagine in my head. Though I can't like necessarily think of anything new or fun. So I just listen to the YouTube. Like very faint in the background. Mm -hmm. I, I just fall asleep from that. I don't like I don't like leaving my computer on. I like to turn it off at the end of every night, so it's it's all up in my head. Mine goes it goes into sleep mode after a while, but sometimes sometimes it for some reason doesn't. I don't exactly know why. I think YouTube is still kind of tricking it into thinking that there's a video still active when there isn't. But it's only sometimes. Oh my god. Not in, but... Nice. Ah, oh man, I have this... this one really sweet... looking anime. It's like these, like... exoskeletons... suits that... they wear, but they're like... Ah, uh, they're, they're like really thin... kind of metal. And, and it doesn't cover, like, the entire body, and I just, god, I wish I could draw it, because it looks so fucking cool in my head. And then, and then like, the exosuit kind of, like, folds down into, like, a suitcase-sized shape. <laughs> but it, but it, it makes sense. It's not, like, like mass is maintained, because right. it's, it's kind of like a thin tubing. So, uh, yeah, anyways. Like carbon nanotubes or nano machines almost. You know, like the <sighs> like the tubing part is only—it's only like a couple of inches. Like it doesn't cover your arm. It's just uh, like an outer uh, frame kind of thing. Yeah. And it's just—it's really—it's really slick and futuristic. Oh fuck! You made that's thirty points. A lot of the, there's a lot of people that aren't very good <laughs> in this. Red rum of crows. I'm gonna show that to Justin. Um, my my thing is, you can kind of say similar to yours, but vague. Wow, you're um, ripping me off this whole time, huh? Yeah. Filed my copyright claim. <coughs> so my 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 DBZ character dude has like uh has armor that's made out of like energy but they're like like panels and like it oh that was a shitty area but, and it will cover the whole body um oh, oh what, what a jump his teammate I did, blocked it i did yeah, why, did wish... why did teammate come out of the goal for that? Jesus. I really wish I had uh, written some of that stuff down. A lot of it would be would be cringy as hell, but it would it'd be so neat to look back at that stuff. Oh, you know I emailed those chapters. Of the uh, the leaf, the magical leaf forest. I emailed those. I wonder if they're still saved somewhere. Oh. But my uh, my 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 DBZ panel things. They would uh, float over the body, and then when it like needed to power up, they would like kind of clamp down onto the body. Then, um, nice. and then. Uh, they could also like rearrange themselves into like a giant fist or a giant sword. Mm -hmm. uh, like panels and, like, of energy. Yeah, that's cool. I had that's... a I had a Naruto character that would make like energy squares. Mm. Like uh, so so he could make them like if there was a if there was like an attack coming in he would make all oh, nicely done. If there was like an attack he would make like a blue rectangle of chakra up here in front of them to like block the attack uh, or yeah. you could make like these green rectangles in the air uh, like uh, uh, horizontally and he would use them as like platforms to run across 
So he would like run up into the air and then it was just the the entire fight fighting style was based on these these like squares of chakra all like different colors based on their property they were like the purple ones uh he could like teleport through so he'd like he'd make two purple rectangle things and then go he would go through one and come out the other side oh nice or just like try to trap somebody in a box of chakra rectangles yeah I always wondered why, like, what, because I think that would be a bit overpowered in shows, but, like, why the characters wouldn't that have energy be like, I'm just gonna make a singular barrier that's, like, right here that will block your attack and it will be super powerful in that one little tiny area. Mm -hmm. So I will block your attack. Stuff like that. The, uh, the, the armor thing of my guy, like, he has a. I made it aesthetically pleasing in my brain for like the colors. Mm -hmm. So he's got like the the uh, panels would be black, but they would have a white outline, and then like the body was uh, um, what color was the body? I think it was like just like a bit of, like a dark gray. You could barely tell the contrast between the panel and the body. But then, uh, they would have eyes. The eyes would have, like, uh... The panels would have eyes? No, no, you, the eyes of the character. Oh. Um, the eyes of the character would be, like, almost... They, they, would, they would be, like, on fire, but again with, like, the white outline with black. So they looked kind of, like... That is a cool describe. look. The white outline with black is a, is a neat, like, color. Yeah. I like it a lot. Oh, you scored oh, that. I got that. You, yeah, know, you know what we need is we need to just have, like, billions of dollars so we can fund an anime studio to bring our creations to life. That's what we need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for mine has no, probably barely any uh, cohesiveness to any story or world. And I'd rather, just, I'd rather just have my character. <laughs> I just want that character. Also, also in the eyes, you could see, like, basically stars. It'd be like That's a night cool. sky. But not in the flame parts coming off of the eye. But, uh... You know, the uh, they're doing, like, the Mega Millions lottery oh! right now. And it's, like, a billion dollars if you win. And uh, there's, there's, like, this billboard near my house where it shows it has like three digits and it's like you know the, the mega millions is now 470 million or whatever and it just had to do 999 because it doesn't have a fourth digit to show that it's at a billion dang so there's gonna be a whole bunch of people buying lottery tickets tonight to try to win that due to my work said he's already in uh, two pools for it mr siler oh you thought of that too with the sky and the eyes yeah, that, I think that's a cool. That's yeah, really neat. Yeah. Constellation just, look. Cool, just cool eyes in general. That, it's that Naruto. Yeah, Naruto made eyes cool. That guy just hit me out of the way, and I think took out his teammate in the process. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> that's great. I have another Naruto character where uh, he like extracts all of the chakra from his body and like molds it, you know, like a like you know whether it's a rosin gun or like a, a wall or shoots it with spikes or whatever. But he has he only has like ten seconds where he has to like absorb it back into his body, kind of thing. So it's like a it's like a high risk high reward kind of thing. Like for like ten seconds, he's got all this chakra at his disposal to do whatever the fuck he wants with it. But if if he gets if someone like hits him or he gets stunned or whatever, it's all gonna disperse and he's gonna be completely drained and, and fucking boned. So he has to like fight in like ten second bursts. Oh god. That's goofy. So you've made up like a lot more just like that's certain I, I'm just, just talking stuff. about like abilities at that point. There's there's so much more. 
Mine's like one character that I've developed so much in my head. Yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding when I say I've spent like a lot of time in my head doing this shit. My, uh, my character also has floating swords that are behind them because I love that shit. Yeah, floating swords is cool. Have you ever like seen um, a show called, uh, I think it's called Basilisk? There's a dude that had like, like thin razor wire that he, he would like use with his hands. I gotta find a video of that because that dude, that was some of the coolest fights I've ever seen. The guy in uh, uh, My Hero Academia that's like that. Like the, the, it was just like these, these strings would just shoot out and they, they're sharp enough to cut you and you can manipulate them to do shit. There was a guy in Naruto like that, dude. Oh, that was close. I remember uh, Sasuke had like uh, wires attached to like shuriken and stuff at one mm. point. Well, and I thought, I thought that was the that. coolest shit ever, but then they never went back to it because shuriken becomes obsolete at some point. <laughs> Yeah. Two and I and Shuriken just become such a waste. The Naruto characters that are based on the three Legend of Zelda goddesses, that's kind of neat. That is neat, yeah. I'd love to see that, like, visibly designed. Angel is, is, is an artist. She, of, of the three of us, she has the best chance at actually representing <laughs> the shit that she comes up with. Yeah. Be, I'd be fucking embarrassed to try at this point. Yeah, me too. I can't even get a body's proportions right when I draw, so... Oh, you saved our lives! Oh, fuck. I'm falling apart. Do them once, but you're only happy with two of them. Uh, oh, I, I can imagine how frustrating it must be to be looking at it and like that's that is not what my brain came up with. <laughs> yeah, because it, it even if it's just a little bit off, you're gonna be like, oh, it's not right. God, I've got so many wheels now. That's just shitty thing with us creating those sort of things. It's because like we. Yeah. It would be always off, and we're just like, no, yeah. no, uh, no. And and you gotta understand too, like in your head, you might be visibly seeing it as something, but then like there might be a contradiction of you, like when you go back to this one piece of detail, mm -hmm. or, like a visible detail, you might be like, oh shit, actually, I literally thought of a completely opposite thing earlier <laughs> that goes there, mm -hmm. and now I'm saying that this thing goes there. Oh god, which one is it? Things can be incongruous when they're inside your head, and and it's it's almost like dreaming. Like it doesn't it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to flow. It just it just feels right in your head. And that's why I'd love to put it down on paper, right? Because then yeah, it wouldn't. It would be nice. I guess it's about time I start buying some of this Halloween shit. I've got the most expensive three things bought so far. on the, the 80s. I, I was buying golden pumpkins, but I don't even think I'm gonna unlock those with my decryptors, so I'm kind of just moving on. Now. You have to unlock golden pumpkins with decryptors? I thought they were just... They were like the golden eggs. Go try. Gotta reload the page. Okay. I just I just assumed you did. No, the golden eggs you didn't have. I forgot about those. I still you, have a golden egg. You are correct. Oh, no fucking way. Neothermal boost. Hell yeah. Oh, good. Oh, you I didn't get an ad. That's... so lucky tonight. Oh, you didn't get an ad? Oh, thanks a lot, Angel. Where's all my revenue? Uh, I'm pretty sure she subscribed at one point, so... I don't yeah. know if you get to complain she about ha revenue. She hasn't. She hasn't yet. But she, also... She, uh, she was part of the Twitch Prime back when she had... Oh. Free Twitch. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
Gust. Again. Oh no. Triple fuck. Justin sub, I think. No, I don't like I don't care that she didn't sub. <laughs> I don't and ad rev I don't even get ad revenue. <laughs> That's not <laughs> That's good because I, I don't see any ads. I got ad blocker. So I'm not looking at any fucking ads. How much uh, how much money do you get when somebody does a like a Twitch Prime sub? Uh, two fifty. Twitch takes half. For a Twitch Prime sub? No, no. Twitch doesn't take anything. Amazon just pays two fifty, oh. right? Because because Amazon owns Twitch. Mm -hmm. so, uh... You still get ads on Twitch. Which uh, which ad block are you using? I think I've got a U-Block Origin or something like that. Oh, damn it. I've never seen ads on Twitch. I started to feel bad about not watching ads for some of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, Headblock. <laughs> try, uh, try uh, U Ublock Origin because I've never seen ads on YouTube or Twitch. I started to feel bad, then I, I took it off one time, and and holy shit, YouTube is fucking awful with ads. The second I saw an ad in the middle of a video, I, w I was just, I puked. I can't. I can't take that. I don't have. I don't have the patience to watch advertisements anymore. I'm fine with them. I watch them. Pretty much 99% of them are hit the five-second thing, and you're good. But I. I never hit the five-second thing. It just. It just happens. It's. It's lovely. Right, but they still get paid for even running without the five second thing. So, like. Yeah, no, I get it. I, I said I feel like shit for the YouTubers I like. I feel real bad about it. I used to be able to whitelist certain channels because I would watch ads for YouTubers I like. So when I'm just like looking up a song or a movie trailer or something, God, I will get crushed. Especially when, like, the page doesn't load right or something, you have to refresh it, and it's like, now it's another ad! Or, uh, click on something like, oh, no, this isn't the song I wanted. And then you, you mm -hmm. click on a different one, it's like, yeah, I'm back, another ad again. I had to wait five seconds to find out that that's not the video I wanted. Hey, they don't, uh, do that all the time. With, like, with, with music, at least on Dubstep Gutter, if I, if I watch their video, and I've already watched an ad, but I only saw, like, three seconds of that video, they they just don't roll an ad on the next one. God, this team. Man, teammates, uh, is, is flag there. It's, it, man, it's, it's really familiar. Wish I could place it. Are you an expert in in flags? Do you know anything about flags? Did you be yeah, able to recognize that one? I, I don't think it's a flag because it's square. Mm. If it was a flag, it has a C, so maybe it's Cuba. Maybe it's like near the ocean. C word. I see. I, I see what you did there. High high C. Um, I don't. I don't mind. I, I, like I said, I don't mind ads in the middle of videos. But one thing I don't like is Crunchy Rolls ads, because they play like potentially uh, many minute long ads. And yes, you can skip those, but you can't skip them if you're in full screen mode, hmm. which is absolute garbage. So I have to grab my keyboard, which is on the floor. I have to hit Escape. Because you can't minimize the fucking screen when you're in uh, with your mouse 
if it's in, the, in an ad, because it puts like a, you know, like a panel almost over the video that has the ad. Um, and then half the time, the ads are stupid loud. Yeah, that's also annoying. So I absolutely God damn this team. hate um, that one that one weed guy. God, even that hit the ground. Real flags are weird. Double triangles like Nepal. Flags are dope. There's a there's a subreddit called like Vexology, I think it is. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I've seen it. And uh, they're all about flags. It's really cool. I like when they make the the fake ones. Yeah. Uh, I got I have a T-shirt with some really cool flags on it. And like uh, some of the signs that they use in in the Navy and stuff. I like looking at flags. Fucking Saudi Arabia just has a saber. Like, no, we are weird. That's how much we're into violence. We're gonna put it on a flag. I have gold stuff, and I'm working on platinum rewards. I, oh, I have, I have platinum rewards. It's it says that I'm at gold, and it says like six out of ten plat rewards. So I guess I've gotten gold rewards and I'm working my way to plat. Yeah. If the if the bar if the bar itself that you, the the tick marks if they're platinum colored then yeah you're working on platinum. And if the symbol is uh you doing you doing gold. some ranked without me, huh? I did a couple games with Justin that one time. You hopped I off I did a couple. Feel betrayed. Play games all the time without me. I do? Yeah. A lot more than I do. I did play a lot of Monster Hunter without you. Not anymore, though. How are we going to work in Elite Dangerous? I have no idea. That's in a couple months, so we might sacrifice, some, I don't know, Monster Hunter time. Maybe some Elite Rocket League time. I don't really care right now either, because, like, I don't know how I'll feel about Monster Hunter then. Why not? Okay. I'm, I'm still enjoying Monster Hunter. I'm enjoying it. It's just, like, will I enjoy four times a week of it later? Will I enjoy it? Um, maybe one day I'll soon be like, yeah, I don't like it. The Elite Dangerous update doesn't come out till like, December. I mean, so. Well, the beta is going to be here like October 30th, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not playing the beta. Okay. Well, I'm ready then. I'm, I'm not making any progress in the beta, so I don't want to play it. So it'll be four weeks after that. At least. They have other problems in the movie. I'm, I'm still going to be interested in Monster Hunter. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll still be interested in it. That's, that's not, that's not at all what I'm saying. I'm just saying I, I might not want to get burnt out on it as much because there's going to be less and less and less content. They're not going to be coming out with content as fast as we're there's playing a, it. Uh, there's that new monster hitting like uh, November second. Yep. Cold or whatever. See, we we still haven't really mastered all of the monsters that we currently have and their tempered versions. They're, they're still like... Oh, damn it. We're, we were struggling with tempered Devil Joes, so I, I feel like we've still got a ways to go before we're going to be... Feeling like we're at the end of our rope there. Right. Plus you got Behemoth and uh, that cold thing be here soon. Behemoth at some point. Behemoth's gonna be probably a ways out. 
Because they also have Lunast Lunestra? Lunastra? Mm -hmm. For that? That skill uh, wasn't really that good. You <laughs> made it was a jump and you hit it. Like if you air dribbled or you did some double taps or some shit, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't even maxed out the research on all the monsters yet. I want to do that. I was looking at that last time around. I'm at like level one for Azure Rathalos. So pretty close. Like if you look at, I was looking at a lot of them, and a lot of them were, at, you know, either at the final or right before the final. And like I still, I still have goals and stuff in Monster. Want to get all my end swords? I want to get all the long sword at the end. I want to potentially either start hammer and or a long weapon. I'm not going to get every end one on those, but I just want to play as them. There's all the augments we need to get from streamstones. Yeah, for the weapons we really like. I mean, there's when you, when you start digging into like armor builds and shit, and like once you once you've gotten comfortable enough with a monster, you can start adding DPS uh, builds. And you start taking more chances and stuff. Oh wow! I can't even beat a fucking tempered bagel right now. What a save. Fuck. I mean you you got you got a you got a pinch on that, but that's alright, dude. Carbon fire. Trying to rouse some rabbles. Ah, oh, if that was a ball I would have scored. Nice. I was engaged in a gentleman's agreement with the goalie. Man, a billion dollars. I'd fucking start crying if I won the jackpot. I'd be confused. <laughs> Just like... In shock. Do, do, yeah. Do, do I? What do I? What do I do now? <laughs> I have all this money. I guess. I'm so tired of people hearing people tell me about how like, oh, the government will take half of it, and then uh, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. uh, a, certain, a certain amount of people, uh, you know, like thirty percent of people end up broke within the first five years. And like I, I wouldn't go broke. I know everyone thinks that they're they're not the person that would go broke, but I'm telling you, I would not. That's like, that's like, fucking. Imagine you're in, in you're in jail for life, and they're like, all right, we're gonna put you out on parole. I'm I'm not fucking that up. You give me a get out of jail free card, I am not going to ruin it. It's really easy not to ruin that shit. You it's just... so much. It's so much easier to make money when you have lots of money. Right. You, could, you could just hire someone to to make sure. Your money never goes dry. Just invest it for me in, in smart and safe ways, please. Yeah, you'd, you'd be overwhelmed too. Yeah, it, it's a lot of like, a lot of money. It's a, you, fucking one million dollars. I'd be overwhelmed. Yeah. I'd just you be happy if I won like 10k. Oh, <laughs> Maybe absolutely. 10k. Yeah. I'll pay off my student loans. I'll be that's, super that's happy. What say. It's like you still have some student loans, don't you? But man, can you imagine? A million, and I'd be, I'd be fucking in shock. Yeah. Some a million's people don't even not make enough. a million in a, a lifetime. Like quit your job and live off of. 
you yeah. still gotta you still gotta participate in society but holy shit life would be so much easier a billion is just incomprehensible but like i feel you know i'd probably quit my job and do other stuff right but i wouldn't be like blowing my money on tons of shit because like mostly what i do now i sit here and think i don't think man i wish i had more money so yeah. i can do like so i can play rocket league again right like yeah. i'm like doing I, what i like right now you know i'd probably buy some new computer parts right that's not even going to be a thousand dollars all in probably like it's I'm, I'm i'm enjoying for the for the most part aside from going to work every day i do the stuff that i enjoy and want to do there's yeah you know i guess i i could afford to like travel or uh you know i'd have enough money to actually start writing again if i felt like it or I, i'd love to learn how to how to fly a helicopter that'd be awesome just go out and just like i'm just gonna buy a helicopter and pay someone to teach me how to fly my helicopter that'd be amazing yeah but for the most I mean, part like, yeah i do the stuff that i mostly that i want to do I'd, I'd buy a slightly better car like a maybe like a 2015 some kind of japanese reliable safe car to drive around in would be nice my my thing like i would i would i don't like traveling very much so like i would travel to japan <laughs> like yeah and that'd be like all right i'm good like i'd go to japan multiple times maybe like once a year or something be like yeah i'm good uh, or the live new, in Japan. Oh, new, you like the new Corvette? Man, I used yeah, to what, be best with Corvettes. Yeah, the new Corvettes are nice. I like the new Corvette. I don't like the old ones. I don't. I don't think any wow. any one of them prior to like whatever this new redesign came out. I don't really like any of those. But it was it, it's an American muscle car. I do like the the Ford GT, but again, that doesn't kind of look like a American muscle car it looks more like a like a European race car almost. So, not the Mustang GT because fuck Mustangs. My uh, my dad had a '68 Corvette. My roommate's got it, like a, I think. My uncle has a '63, the one with the split back window. Yeah. I used it, to know I used to know so much about Corvettes. I used to know that like. Like in 73, they stopped doing the metal bumper because uh, of like safety regulations. The metal bumper just looks so much, so badass. Even like the old, like the 56, that's look amazing. I probably wouldn't get a Corvette now though. I'd probably get so. like an Aston Martin. Because uh, I, I would, nowadays, I would want like luxury over speed i don't give a shit about speed i, I don't hope to drive fast even if i had the power well, i'd buy i'd buy two cars right like i'd buy a a power car and i'd buy no, I'm a uh i'm just saying like i i wouldn't drive fast even if i had a fancy fast car i wouldn't drive fast either. it's mainly like the car looks cool yeah i get that I'm not, I'm not against fast cars. I like fast cars. So I'm just saying, like, I'd be that guy who, like, I bought a fast car and it looks cool. That's it. It goes real fast sitting in my driveway. Yep. And I'll take it out out on the town a couple days. Fucking, like, a McLaren P1. Oh. Those or, McLarens are nice looking. That Ferrari La Forenza. I'm a big fan of Ferrari. I, I'm not either, but that that particular one, I fell in love when I saw it on Top Gear. You're a sprinter in terms of driving. One good, fast. Yeah, line. I think acceleration matters so much more because you feel like you're you're going fast really quickly. Like, who gives a shit if your car if your car tops out at 180 versus 230 makes like no difference because you're you're not really getting it up to those speeds. If you get like a like a Lotus, it'll get you 260 really goddamn fast. 
that feels that feels more more fun. In, ter in terms of a luxury car, I'd buy a, actually a Tesla. Not bips and bops. And it has well, fast acceleration. I tell you what, when I win, when I win the lottery tonight, I will, I'll pay up all your student loan debts. I'll take everybody to Japan. Everybody gets one free car. I'll, I'll, fucking, I'll fucking fly out to Colorado and see you guys you don't in my in my helicopter <laughs> that I'm gonna buy. I know my parents are gonna buy tickets. My grandmother's gonna buy like 18. Gotta be kidding no, me. No, that was dumb. Oh, I was saving teammate and then it bounces into that tiny hole. Drop shot has been so cruel to us. I got two minutes. I got a hole. You got this. Maybe. I have a nice middle hole, too. You like the middle hole, right? Yeah, that was almost quote material right there. I have to like lower the standard of what could be considered a quote, since we don't have very much. <laughs> Not necessarily would be that funny, just like goofy sounding. Oh god! Oh no! Oh, that's fine. Got Not one. good for food. you. Hit it again. It's fine. Please, teammate, please. I do think it would be cool to have my own sailing vessel. God damn it. Teammate, it also isn't really that good. Cause, I would uh, hate sailing vessels. Because oh. uh, I, I love the ocean and everything. And, and uh, I've never lived in a place where I could like look up at the stars at night because of light pollution. And I imagine I'm way out in the fucking ocean, the stars got to look incredible. We uh, we have some spots here with like in the mountains. And stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. We've, we've seen that stuff. How? Oh, God. How is it possible? <laughs> it just rolled off. Just wants to buy an island in Fiji? Jesus. See, I can't do good with water. I get seasick real fast. Like, I went on a deep sea fishing trip in Hawaii for, like, part of a day, and I... Pretty much right out of port, I got seasick. And spent the entire time uh, throwing up. Fell asleep, woke up, and we were back at 40. Please, teammate, please. Yeah, there, there's medicine you can take, but if, you, if you're getting seasick all the time, that's, that's really not worth it. Plus, yeah, plus, like, teammate. I was closer. Why are you doing stuff? Um, the thing is, is, like, if I'm getting that seasick that quickly. Yeah, it's it's not worth it. Oops. If we, Plus, if we, I win, don't know. If we win the lottery, I don't I don't know if I can spare enough to buy an, an entire fucking island. That's probably not gonna happen. The, wa the water's actually, like, too lonely and shit, too, for me. Well, I would... Kind of boring I would bring people with... I would buy people to bring with me. No, I don't mean, like, lonely, like, without people. I, I kind of mean, like, I, I need stuff around me. I need, like... One million for an island? No. 
I, my room's cluttered, I kind of like stuff. If I'm out in the middle of the nowhere, there's not a lot of stuff. I like architecture. I like. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't live out there. It would be, yeah. be like a two or three week vacation. I would take. You know, for from. For me though, just being out there just a little bit, I'm just like, ah, this isn't my thing. I love being out on the water. It's so nice. Like, out on a lake is okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm here. I can get off the lake in about 10 seconds. Yeah, I'm also, I'm also like deathly afraid of water too, so that doesn't really... Afraid of deep water? Have you played Subnautica? It's a good game. Nothing scary yeah. happens in the deep water there. Did you finish watching Subnautica? Yeah, I did. Did it? Did it? Nope, just faking them out. Faking them out. Yeah, Thassalophobia. I'm scared of like. Uh, is, is a whole subreddit for that, and it's it's incredible. It's, it's being afraid of like deep water and things in the deep water, or just the nothingness of the deep water. I'm not afraid yeah. of that. I'm just afraid of drowning. I don't I don't imagine that there's creatures below me or get scared of that. I just kind of. You should you should absolutely be scared of space. It wants you dead. I'm less scared of space, but that's because I haven't, like, yeah, I, I haven't almost died in a vacuum in my life. I mean, I haven't, like, almost died in real life necessarily, but I got real scared. God, what a fucking marksman that guy is. Well, most things in the ocean don't really want you dead, I don't think. Yeah, that's why I'm not really... I'm so scared of it, you know. I think, well, there's most of the a, time they don't care. There's a, there's a spe specific shark that I remember sailors are really scared of because they can they can smell you in the water from really far away and they want to kill you. Or they want to they want to eat you, but for the most part, things are pretty much like, what the hell is this? Thing? This this does not belong in my habitat. I saw a girl that like likes to take uh, fish hooks out of sharks' mouths. Yeah, that was awesome. And like the sharks would come up and like nuzzle with her and shit. It's it's Don't. amazing that they they can like recognize this this being is being helpful, you know. Yeah. I, I, At I, least I'm we just, think, you know. It's it seems that way. I think I yeah. saw someone say that like it, the, that the sharks after getting their hooks taken out are like leading other sharks to her when they've got hooks. I was like, huh. shit, that's some that's some really high level intelligence right there. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you got a hook? Yeah, I got a hook guy. Let me let me take it in my hook guy. That taken care of. It's like just like crows, but crows, you know, yeah. since they're not like social at all, but like they'll they'll remember somebody and they'll be like, yeah, you're the person that gave me that shiny thing that one time. Yeah, they'll hold grudges and stuff. Yeah. Why'd you say they're not social though? Because like when when they become older, they uh, they kind of like only have a couple like dudes to hang out with, and that's about it. Cause they're not they're not like sharks where like potentially oh. oh my god really they don't care they are there and they are dangerous and they are scary i'm not i'm not saying it's an unreasonable fear there, there's some scary shit down there i mean a whale could murder you by accident and like not even know <laughs> yeah i'm i'm more afraid of a whale Cause like he'll just like capsize my shit or accidentally drag me underwater or some shit, <laughs> like somehow. And again, that's the whole drowning thing. No, oh, he pinched it with me, that dick. And, uh, there, you know, there's like jellyfish and sea snakes that could murder you in like minutes. But 
their poisonous stuff. So it's it's reasonable to be scared of that stuff. I just I love ocean stuff. I love ocean creatures. Can't get enough. I own uh, the Blue Planet series on uh, Blu-ray. That blue, blue, blue Planet 2 that just came out recently. Blu-ray Planet. Blu-ray Planet. Alright. I was going to score, but okay. Let's just hit it back to our side. That's fine. That's, you, you just cost us. We were going to win the game until you did that. Yeah. With my... 56 damage that I've done. I'd be terrified to do a spacewalk, but there's no way in hell I would miss that opportunity. If, uh... I was somehow on a, on the space station, and they're like, "All right, suit up. You're gonna you're gonna clip to the side of the space station, and and uh, you know just grab onto the handholds." I would do it. I'd be shitting myself the whole way. But man, mad that experience to be to have just like like a, a centimeter of, of like plexiglass or whatever between you and, and outer space. The view must be incredible. I wouldn't be afraid if I was tethered. Really? Cause... You, you sure? Because yeah. the, there's a lot that can go wrong. With a, with a tether? I, just I mean, being in space, there's a lot that can go wrong. You get hit by right. like a micro meteorite and you're you're toast. Right, but those don't happen very often. Your your right? like those could malfunction. Yeah, sure, your suit. I mean, but... there's there's so many things trying to kill you in space. Teammate, teammate, please, 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 go. Um, the thing is, though, the micrometeor thing is so rare. Like, I'm just saying that there's a, a million different little things all adding up to wanting you dead. Right, but if, if I was already in space, too, I, I wouldn't be afraid of a micrometeor while I'm, like, all, when I'm in a suit any more than I would be when I'm inside of a space station. Because, sure, space station can, like, potentially block it, but... They go so goddamn fast that you have a high chance that it can just puncture. I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, it, it can handle a higher-sized meteorite than your suit can. It, it, do, it doesn't matter. Like, I, I really feel like going out into space would be, would be a terrifying experience. I'm saying, like, I wouldn't be afraid of spacewalking on a tether any more than, like, I guess, being already out in space. If I was already out in space, I wouldn't be any more afraid of it. Now, if they wanted me to spacewalk without tether, or like, like just grabbing on to like the side, you know what I mean? Like, if there was handles on the side and I had to like hand myself off to each handle, I would I would be deathly afraid of that. I'd be like, hell no, you're tethering me onto that shit, or else I'm not going out there. Right, you know, there's always. A small chance that just something goes wrong is all I'm saying. Like it's, it's, right. it's an environment you've never been in before. I, I, and you're you're acting like it's no big thing. No, I'm I'm acting like there's a low probability of something happening, like a micrometeor. If micrometeorites were like I, that was that was one thing. That was one thing in a list of stuff that's trying to kill you when you're in space. You don't have to keep telling me right. that micrometeorites not a big deal. I mean. What else, though? Like, yeah, my suit can malfunction, but I could also die in a car accident tomorrow. All right. right? And I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not... Okay, you're you're, you're more of a badass than I am. I'm, I'm not even trying to say I'm a badass, son, bro. You're just... You're just thinking I'm trying to say such a thing. It's, it's mainly like... If it was such a dangerous thing... All right, I, I, yeah, I get your point. I see, I see where you're coming from. I still think it's terrifying. And if you don't, then that's that's fine too. You 
couldn't spacewalk. Even with like a tether. Tether, no tether. I don't know. See, like the main reason why I'm afraid of drowning so much in the ocean, even if I'm swimming, is for one, because I'm a shitty swimmer. Right? Oh, really? Ugh, yeah, I'm, I'm terrible. That's why I'm like way more, like, because I, I could fuck up. I could run out of energy. There was a time where I was swimming and I started getting seasick from the waves in the reservoir. And so I was like starting to feel bad and a little woozy. And so I'm starting to lose concentration on swimming that I'm already shitty at. And so like with, with a spacesuit, I'm no longer like relying on my own skill. That's, a, that's the same thing with heights. Um, I'm afraid of heights if I am... Uh, like hiking on a mountain and like there's no railing or anything like that mm. um, because I'm afraid that I'm going to fuck up and because if I look down I get dizzy but if I'm in a building yeah I look down and I get dizzy and it's a little like unnerving but I'm way less af oh, god damn I'm trying to avoid shit I'm way less afraid if I'm like in a building a really tall building but like I think with the spacesuit because I'm not relying on my own skill for such a thing. Like, that's why I said, like, I'd be terrified if it was, we're gonna hand off, like, you know, we're gonna do the hand thing, grab onto a handle, grab, like, like a... I wanna, I wanna hear some of these stories about you almost dying next time you're, you're in Discord. I wanna hear about you almost drowning, Angel. That sounds like a good story. Oh my god, that was, that was the start of my fear of, uh, water, I think, was wave pools. Because uh, and I had I had like swimming lessons really young. I've never been scared of water. I I had swimming lessons really young, but my dad took me out of it because I bitched so much at one of them. He got annoyed. Really? And took me out. Well, you just didn't like it, so you were complaining. I was I was, I think I was freaking out like because I was just starting to do the paddleboard thing where like he lets go. And I have like the little shitty board, uh -huh. and I kind of paddle myself, and I was I was a scared, being like a four year old. Yeah. So it was just like my nope. dad, like I was bitching so much. Apparently. They teach uh, they teach like babies to swim now, just in case they like fall in a pool or uh, mm. or they're in the tub, and and uh, they can they can get babies. They'll put them they'll put the babies into the water like face down. And the baby will kick and and like whirl itself and spin itself over, and and learn to like wow. float on its back. That's that's pretty incredible. That's pretty cool. And I was like, God, yeah. That, at first, you're like, What the hell are you doing, putting a baby in the water and trying to teach it to swim? Are you stupid? And then you you watch the kid just do it, like it's nothing. And like the if the kid's not freaking out anymore and it's it's just more really comfortable in the water. I was like, Well, that makes a lot of sense actually. Get them to just do it instinctively. But uh. I, uh, speaking of, like, bitching and not wanting to learn, I actually, Ooh, nice. I didn't, I didn't learn how to ride a bike as a kid. Oh. <laughs> I complained so much. And my dad is, like, trying to teach me, because I was so scared of just falling over. I had you know, no sense of balance. It's, it's a really cruel thing that you have to have enough confidence to go fast to not fall over on a bike. Like, I, I could never right. get the speed that I needed, because I was terrified of falling over so I can never get the balance and I can never get that confidence. I basically, I told my dad that, uh, he's like, what if, what if all your other friends are out riding bikes? What are you going to do? I was like, I'll just run real fast next to him. <laughs> and it, eventually I just, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. So he gave up. I didn't learn how to ride a bike till I was like 14, 13, 14. I was afraid of falling like short distances like that. I was afraid of scraping myself up. Yeah. Having a, having a fear of heights and falling, you'd think I'd be afraid to fall even a little distance to now, like, like, if I'm just gonna scrape myself, like, even, even getting on the roof, I'm just deathly terrified of getting I on mean, the roof. You should be terrified of getting on the roof, that's, that's a fucking hospital trip right there. Wobbly knees, and getting up there, I'm like, oh, I there's hate, some, t I hate when the ladder's not, like, quite perfectly aligned, like, one of the legs on the ladder. Is, is a little wobbly. I hate that. I, I usually get someone to come over and like hold the ladder steady for me. Dude, my 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 only my main roof experience right now. Oh, oh nice. yeah. 
my main roof experience right now is sometimes my uh, screen of my window will fall out onto the roof. And so I have to crawl out my window onto the roof and get it. And I'm terrified of that. <laughs> fuck. A dude um, held your head underwater? What the fuck? Oh, God. What kind of sick bastard does that? Man, that is a that is a shortcut to that like primal terror, is uh, when you think you're gonna drown. Oh yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it's just like your brain is like we are in, you know, panic mode now. That that was with when I was at the reservoir and I started getting seasick when I was actually ventured out. This was like a couple years ago, and then all of a sudden I started getting seasick and I started getting into panic mode. Because I thought I was going to start losing my, you know, concentration that I would drown. Freaking out. Yeah, when, when like, every cell in your body is, like, actively working towards keeping you alive. And, yeah, that, that gets, that's really scary when you can just feel that your whole body is in panic mode and is going to do whatever it can to, to stay alive. I mean, a kid holds your head underwater, though. That's absolutely fucking, that's messed up. I remember, yes. I remember the wind getting knocked out of me and thinking I was dying because I didn't know what it was. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Like You well, can't breathe anymore. You're like, why? Yeah. I was just laying there. I can still, I can remember like the smell of the mulch because we were at like a playground. I, I still remember like it digging into my back and, and just like staring at the sky like I'm, I'm dying. That, that's, this is it. I'm dying now. You don't remember the same primal fear when you're a kid? Hell, when the kid held your head, I, man, I, once there was a time where somebody dunked my head underwater, even briefly, and I flailed. Like, <laughs> I just, nope. Nope, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, and in the wave pool for me, I just caught, got caught, and it was the same thing at the, in the ocean one time. I got caught in a bad wave, it kind of tumbled me around a little bit, I went underwater, and I struggled, I got back up above water finally, you know, I'm freaking the hell out. And then I had no idea where I was because I lost my direction. And so I couldn't find the people I was with both times. So both were bad experiences. Oh, you don't associate fear with that memory. God. Pretty much. Do, do you like do you like having splashing contests when you're in the water? Like you splash each other? I haven't been in the water in a long time, but uh, did, I did, yeah. See, if I hated it because if any water touches my face, really, <laughs> and it splashes in my face, it really annoys me. That was some of my favorite things to do was splash fights. I can put my head underwater if it's like within my control, but if water splashes me in the face, I'm just like, fucking stop now. Just, just stop it. I haven't been in a swimming pool in like a decade at this point. I think I was like a year or two ago, probably with Kristen or Caitlin. I think at the age maybe he didn't understand what could actually happen. Yeah. Kids are fucking stupid. It's yeah, that's, that's super true. Super depressing when you hear about like a kid finds out where their parents keep the gun in the house and they go to like show it off to their friends and end up shooting them. It's like, Jesus, why? That's so goddamn yeah. sad. Imagine, Any sort of imagine growing like up that. With, with that on your conscience. I don't think I'm able to forgive myself. Oh, yeah. Even knowing is like, oh, you were a dumb kid, it's not your fault. I just, I wouldn't be able to let that go. I don't, I don't even like controlled guns and controlled environments for me, like yeah. going to a gun range or something. I'd be like, nope not gonna do it my sister invited me to out to uh shoot her ak-47 and her that's a, that's a that's an assault rifle all right that's not a joke and her uh she has some like crazy ass shotgun and uh i was just like nope not gonna do it she's like don't don't be lame i'm like nope i don't don't be I don't. lame what the fuck my sister's like that you're not like, masculine I don't... if you haven't murdered something with a gun. You like guns? I like guns in video games. Yeah. Yeah, movies, <laughs> video games and stuff. 
I, I don't I don't like IRL guns. I guess actually, you know, I did some uh, I did some long range like airsoft stuff of like uh, target shooting from real far away. That was a lot of fun because it's like a, yeah. I'm like improving my skill at target shooting. That that's really neat to me. Like like the like yeah. the Olympic event, like trying to hit a target from far away. And I like art yeah, too I, for that. I shot a BB gun in the past too, and I'm fine with that because again, I don't feel like I'm murdering something, or it could murder something. I could see myself getting like, like a 22 caliber rifle to just do long range target shooting, but I'm just not. I'm not going to be a guy who wants to go out to the gun range and fire off some rounds, bro. I, just yeah. don't, I don't see that as being a fun time. And just in Siler, general, I don't. I don't like how people. People are nuts, and I don't. I don't like crazy people with guns. Yeah, I don't even. I. I don't like me with a gun because I don't want to accidentally do something. Yeah. Like whoops. Even if I would be totally careful, I just. I hate it. Tyler at my work, he has a gun range on his property. Yeah, I mean, and if he that's, teaches if people. That's your hobby. Like I get it, but it's just not not for me. I don't. I don't need a hobby where people can just accidentally die. It's just not yeah. really worth it for me. Or, or, you know, a much higher chance of instantly, accidentally dying. Yeah. But I suppose video games, I don't know, I could have a heart attack because I'm pumped up, but really. Mildly safe. I could break a finger. I do like guns, though. Like, I like historical guns and, like, you know, like the blunderbuss and the musket and shit. I, I find that stuff really fascinating. And, uh... I just... I've never had a desire to go to a gun range and shoot one. Yeah. I like modern guns more, but I also, you know, I'm a tech no, I, I, love, I love both. I love, I love futuristic guns, too. Those are cool. Futuristic guns are cool. I don't like old guns because I think they're uh, they're shitty. <laughs> but, you know, I also don't like anything pretty sweet of history, so... Remember when you were a little kid, guns, you got... Guns push. are cool. I'm not, I'm not saying they're not cool. I'm just saying I, I I wouldn't find it to be fun to just go to a gun range and, and shoot some guns or like to hunt with a gun. I'm not I'm not gonna yeah. like go out and murder something with a gun. I I love the P90 like that gun. Mm -hmm. I just love it for some reason. Probably because of Stargate, but I actually no, it's not because of Stargate. I mean that that solidified it. But there was a a gun in Goldeneye too that was very similar to it, and I liked the gun in Goldeneye. Yeah. It's it's a cool design. You don't like hunting because you're love. And yeah, see, I couldn't. I don't like killing things either. I don't like hurting things. So I, I think we're roughly on the same page here, Angel. Like, I don't, I don't really need to shoot anything with a gun. But other than that, guns are guns are fucking cool. Yeah, I think the only thing the difference between Angel and us was Angel might go to a range and shoot a gun. Yeah. Well, well, we would. We, uh, we wouldn't. Uh, and then you like historic guns, and I don't know how Angel feels about historic guns, but I I don't like old guns. But I'm also like not like super into guns. Like It's one of those things that, you know, I see a gun, and I'm just like, that looks cool. Mm -hmm. And then that's about as far as it gets in my brain. Like, I, I, don't, I don't really have... The desire to look up stats or you know <laughs> manufacturing information or like uh historical information about the gun i just like the way the guns look i'm probably and... about as into guns as i am into cars there's like there's a whole bunch that i think look really cool and that i'm really into but i also don't yeah. go out and like buy cars and drive them around a lot i, I like them al almost more in theory than than the actual thing yeah yeah angel's the same way too yeah yeah it's it's Oh my god, she also said cars. Ha! <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's great. And, like, cars, cars, I'll look up the stats a little bit more on them, but it's literally just manufacturing it and, like, who made it and what year. But, you know, that identifies the car. While a gun, I just know the name of it, right? P90. I don't know who the fuck invented it. I don't... That doesn't matter for that I thing. A, I think it's a German gun. But for like a Ford GT, I have to know it's a Ford the, the and a GT for Bolt. someone to be like, yeah, that's it's that a, car. It's Belgium. Is 
it's really good for uh they like they like they really like it when you're uh doing stuff in like close quarters because you get the you get the power of like a submachine gun but it's it, mo most of the the gun is like right up against your shoulder instead of out in front of you like a like an assault rifle for, for which gun the p90 yeah the p90 it's, you can you can like you can like go around corners of a house a lot better than you would with yeah. like a large rifle yeah it's really it's real uptight on your body and short mm -hmm. I think it's also pretty accurate too for something like but, but, yeah I mean partly you know you get you so much of the uh, like the barrel like the longer the longer you can get the barrel the more the rifling can spin the, the bullet and you can get more more accuracy you like sniper rifles too, Angel? I think sniper rifles, especially fantasy sniper rifles, when they're over exaggerated and like in anime and stuff, they look really cool. With that fucking thing at the end, the muzzle suppressor, I don't know what the fuck it is, at the end of a sniper rifle that like. The, the Barrett M82 is, is, a, is a dream gun. I, I would I would fire an M82. That's fucking badass. A semi-automatic 50 caliber sniper rifle, sending your shots like more than a mile down range, as fast as you can pull the trigger. That's is fucking ridiculous. The uh... and it goes like it'll go through like an engine block at that distance. Oh jeez. Totally shut down a car from from that far away. The, the, I like the sniper in uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. It's, it's not the sniper rifle I'm talking about. I'm just talking about the person himself. He's a... Uh, Metal Gear Solid, they have like realistic guns, right? And they're cool. But the sniper... I don't know if you know about the Metal Gear Solid 3 sniper at all. But he's an old man called The End. And... Uh, I've seen that. He uh, he's bald and he's like asleep for most of the game, because they're like, he he only has so much life in him left that like he only uses his energy when he needs to snipe and like that's it. That's pretty. And they wheel him around in a wheelchair, <laughs> and he can like make his eyes pop out of his sockets I'm, I'm looking so at he that can right like. Now, like holy shit. <laughs> but the cool thing is, if you're in the boss battle with him. And you save and quit on your PlayStation. Wait two weeks. You can go back in. He'll be dead. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's so Metal Gear Solid. Goddamn. Yeah, it's so great. So I like the Gundam. I like my Gundam's guns too. I think those are really cool. My favorite one is that Tall Geese one. Like my latest one that I made. Mm -hmm. Uh, cause it's got that big, like, that big chonk gun, you know, it's, it's got chonk. And of course, Heavy Arms Custom with its oh, Gatling. Gatling gun barrel. Yeah, oh, they're so good. Yeah, the metal stuff and, meta stuff and Metal Gear Solid. Meta, meta metal stuff. The metal stuff and Meta Gear Solid. So, you know, I, I am... I am not like a fan of guns. There's, there's a lot that I've I've looked up. I think I'm I think I'm more into uh, though. Ah, fucking skinny seahorse and commander root. Fuck off. Um. But uh, I like I like missiles. I think a lot too, and rail guns. Mm. More than I like. Oh yeah. Um, that's, that's hard to say. I watched the movie Top Gun like eighty times as a kid. Oh, I, I loved the jets and the and, and watching a missile like detach from the wing and then like a, a half second later, boom! It like takes off. Oh, so cool! So cool! Oh yeah, yeah. When it goes like kutunk and then yeah, yeah. It, like kicks off. And it has like that. Guns? It has that. Uh, it has that shell that like pops off of it to the sides, right? Or or when uh, when when a uh, a submarine 
fires a missile out of the top and then it comes have you ever seen like a slow-mo where it, it comes out of the water and then like it, right it, it, it like uh it like loses momentum and like the second it starts to fall back into the water then the engine kicks on and like fires it off oh that's cool too it looks so neat. angel likes the nail gun is that a, is that a reference yeah it's uh widest could you know rail guns are fucking sick rail guns are really cool just like using using a magnet to throw a chunk of, of metal really fast um are you ever are you ever gonna watch all noah zero either of you the anime maybe but go ahead and spoil it for whatever the the, the conversation means more to me than whatever this is less of like a specific gun and more of like what the guy get, did with guns. So th this guy, all all the enemy like mechs have crazy ass powers. Um, based off of some. You care about spoilers? So like, uh, the one of the enemy mechs was able to utilize quantum teleportation and clone his mech. Now, apparently there's a mathematical proof that said that you can't clone with quantum teleportation. But it was a thing that they were considering to see if it was real or not. But who cares? It's an anime, right? It fucking gives a shit. It's awesome. Oh. Uh, and, but they were, tr they thought he was cloning himself and there'd be a real one, right? And so they were like, we, there's the real one. So they, bl they would blow it up and then another one would sprout up and they'd be like, what the fuck? I thought we killed the real one. We keep thinking we killed a real one. And the one guy's like, no, wait they're all the real one and so this guy since he has like he has a cybernetic eye that has like a super computer basically in it and it since it's attached to his brain it uses his brain as well hmm. to help it he uh he was able to link with all of the mechs on the field at once and then have them all fire their guns all at the same time and destroy them all so like imagine Instead of like a bunch of random gunfire, just this gigantic line of bullets. Just this chunk, and that's it. And it just blows them all up. And it was like a short burst too, it wasn't like a long burst. Ah, oh, it's so good. That show that show is that show's awesome. I love it. I guess you gotta switch over to Octopath now. Yeah, don't, I gotta don't switch keep over. Your, don't keep your fans waiting. Yeah, all the, all my fans that are out there. All four viewers, with Angel and I counting as two of them, and maybe your bot is a third. Me and my, me and my bot. Yep, I have base four now, basically, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Because I don't have a good chance of like losing it. I guess you could say. But search name. Any seahorse. Yes. Delete. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go switch over. Bye-bye, good noodle. Have a good one, some bro. Alright, I'll be back, Angel.